In ancient times, there existed a powerful human named King Solomon who subjugated the 72 strongest demons and named them his pillars. With his unrivaled wisdom and 72 pillars, Solomon brought great prosperity to his kingdom making him feared and admired by demons and humans, even after his death. Our story begins with a boy named William Twining who comes from a noble and rich family. He always strives to be the best student in the school to make his parents proud, who were mysteriously deleted while he was still young. But one day, William is summoned to the principal's office and informed that his semester fee hasn't been paid. He heads home to question his uncle, who acts as his guardian. But Kevin, his butler, explains that his uncle ran away after spending all the money on booze, girls and casinos. And now he is completely broke and has nothing left except the house. William thanks Kevin for not abandoning him as everyone else did. But now they got to focus on the problem. Not that they can barely afford food, but his school fees. Because you know, you can always eat your books. He and Kevin then search the house for any valuable item and unexpectedly discover a hidden treasure room in the basement. William breaks into the room, cutting his finger in the process. His dripping blood accidentally activates a magic circle drawn in the room, summoning a mysterious demon who introduces himself as Dantalion. The demon reveals that William is a descendant of King Solomon, the strongest human in history. But he cannot rule hell because he's a human, therefore, he's the only one who can nominate the demon king while literally ruling hell, you know, Illuminati stuff. Furthermore, since Lucifer, the current demon king and Solomon's best friend, is in deep slumber, he requests William to elect him as interim ruler of hell. Here's the problem. William doesn't really believe this. He's a realist. He believes in the power of the absolute truth, named science. Therefore, there are only two options. Dantalian is either a crazy cosplayer or a con artist. And without any second thought, William calls the police and kicks him out. William then investigates his basement to find any hidden path Dantalian used earlier, but instead gets dragged by dark force to Dantalian's mansion in hell. There he meets another crazy cosplayer Baphomet, Dantalian's butler. The goat butter explains hell is becoming a literal hell due to the different demon factions wishing to become the next demon lord, and they can only do it if William picks them. But our boy is like, nice British water, I don't believe it, take me back and stop scamming people. Suddenly, a demon named Jills appears, blasting the mansion away. He came to take Dantalian down and take his place as one of Solomon's pillars, but instead, he finds a human. He decides to take William with him, as demons always love to have human toys. But Dantalian appears and saves William by attacking Jills with his firepower. In response, Jills strikes them with his electrifying power which Dantalian blocks using his magical barrier. Dantalian and Jills then engage in fierce battle whereas William thinks it's some nice visual effects, but still wants to go back home. During the fight, Dantalian becomes aggressive due to Jills's mocking comments and starts unleashing his true powers, which can literally destroy the path connecting the two worlds and he will be stuck in hell forever. Enraged, William orders Dantalian to stop, making his demon powers vanish in a second. Jills retreats to report this matter to his master. Dantalian calls William Solomon in disbelief, indicating that he is Solomon's sole reincarnation, and sends him to the human world. William then suddenly gets summoned to the principal's office, where he learns that his tuition fee has been paid. Not only that, but the academy got a huge donation, making him think it was his uncle. But he becomes even more shocked when he finds out that Dantalian joined his class as a transfer student. Dantalian reveals to William that he paid his tuition fee, and asks him to repay him by choosing him interim ruler which William refuses. William tries to find another solution by asking his friend Microft for scholarship programs, so he no longer needs to be indebted to Dantalian. His friend Isaac introduces him to underclassman Citri who tells William that his uncle is willing to become his patron and invites him to his manor. At night, William catches Isaac doing rituals in the forest but Isaac reveals that he is summoning an angel to get rid of a demon for his sake. Accidentally a demonic boar gets summoned and chases after them. Citri arrives and after slicing the boar in half, revealing that he is one of the demon candidates to become the demon king. Citri captures Isaac to blackmail William but Dantalian arrives and rescues Isaac on time. The two demons battle with each other. William not wanting to do anything with them decides to leave but Citri traps William and Isaac in a cage. LN frustration, William orders them to stop, making their powers vanish. He declares he will not elect a new demon lord and returns to his room. William starts to finally realize that demons who belong to the 72 pillars can't go against his orders, and so, he commands Dantalian to stay away from him. But Dantalian warns him that he will be in danger because other demons will come after him, and he won't be able to stop them. 
Despite the warnings, William and his group investigate rumors of ghost hunting in their school and discover a low-class demon in the forest. The demon runs away after striking them with his powerful attack which Citri blocks with his magical barrier. After following the demon to the school church, suddenly, Crosby, the school pastor, injures Citri, revealing that he used the demon to lure them. He works as an exorcist for an organization called Hand of God, which wants to exterminate all demons and kill William, as he's the one who can choose the next demon lord. Citri fights with Crosby to save William but Crosby corners him easily. Fortunately, Dantalion arrives and injures Crosby with his flaming power. He then attempts to strangle Crosby but William orders him to stop hurting humans, giving Crosby a chance to run away. Dantalion promises William that he will protect him for a lifetime and they two befriend each other. The next day, they find out Crosby is nowhere to be found, and Kevin became the new school priest. Dantalion warns William about the school head boy Nathan. Later at night, Citri informs him that their dormitory mother Maria has opened the portal from hell to summon a demon. When William arrives at the scene, he witnesses that Summon Demon is going to attack Maria and rushes to protect her. Nathan arrives on time and saves Maria by slicing the demon in half. Nathan is the half-demon named Cameo, who is also one of Solomon's pillars and wants to become the next demon king. Nathan and Maria were lovers who separated due to their differences in the past. William confronts Maria, and she reveals that she has lung disease. She wanted to form a contract with a demon so she can be with her loved one in hell after death. Dantalion persuades Cameo to let Maria die as a human for her own good whereas William convinces Maria to take her treatment. Therefore she retires to take her treatment and leaves Cameo in their care. Bicroft informs Williams that his father has invited him to a dinner party. He attends it with Citri and Dantalion, where he learns that Bicroft's father died long ago, and his corpse is possessed by a demon named Oligos who is a subordinate of Beelzebub. William confronts her, and Oligos reveals that Beelzebub has ordered her to kill him because of his power to select the next king. She attacks him with her metallic chain, but Dantalion intercepts her attack by burning her chains with his flames. In anger Oligos then target Microft and tries to strangle him to death. William rushed to save Microft but Citri stops him from endangering his life. Surprisingly a priest named Regal arrives on time and saves Microft by exercising Oligos. One day William receives the good news that all his demon friends have returned to hell for their urgent business. So he happily spends his time on the school play's preparation but later misses them. Later at night, William notices strange fog surrounding the school. He rushes outside to check it out and becomes shocked after seeing hordes of dangerous demons coming forward to kill him. Citri arrives and reveals that these demons are sent by his uncle Balbareth to take his soul. He protects William by slicing demons left and right with his powers but gets injured by one of the demons. This endangers William's life but Dantalion arrives on time and saves William by annihilating demons with his flames. After this a demon tries to launch a sneak attack on William but a mysterious protection barrier gets activated and kills that demon. His protection barrier then starts exercising Dantalion. As a result, Dantalion goes on a rampage and grabs William to choke him to death. Cameo uses his electrifying power to save William from Dantalion and then deals with the remaining enemy. William lightens the heavy mood when Dantalion tries to apologize to him so he no longer feels guilty for what happened. A new student named Elliot challenges William that he will take first place in upcoming exams. As a result, William puts more effort into exam preparation since his scholarship and family dignity is at stake. Dantalion warns William to stay away from Elliot, mentioning he could be descended from a saint, or an angel, who wants to control or even kill him. But William dismisses his warnings, walking away in range since Elliot is performing better than him. Later during the last exam, answer notes appear on William's desk out of nowhere as if magic, resulting in him being accused and locked in a punishment room for cheating. William goes to trial to clear his name, where he gets asked the most random question ever. Who does he love more, God or the demons? Suddenly, he gets transported to another dimension, where he meets Elliot. William tries to confront him, and Elliot introduces himself as Archangel Michael, the leader of all angels, and reveals that he is planning to make him heaven's pawn. Michael strangles William and tries to stab him, but Citri arrives on time and tries to save him. Michael then blackmails Citri with William's life to make him back off. Dantalion appears and saves William from Michael's grasp. They engage in a fierce, where Michael overpowers and takes Dantalion down. But Michael's mistake is to start talking about Dantalion's past, enraging the demon, who unleashes his true power and takes the demon down. Filled with rage, Dantalion starts channeling all his firepower to finish the angel down. But Kevin interrupts their fight, allowing Michael to escape. 
William returns to trial safely and proves his innocence with Isaac and Cameo's help. At night, William discovers his family treasure ring in Kevin's room which makes him remember his parents' death and how Kevin comforted him in those difficult times. So he decides to keep the ring to himself and returns to his room. During the night, Kevin approaches him in his sleep and tries to perform a spell on him to brainwash him, allowing the heavens to mind control him according to their wish. It is revealed that Kevin is an angel and the person who killed Solomon. He's acting under Michael's orders, as their only wish is to take advantage of Lucifer's slumber to attack and destroy hell. Luckily, the spell doesn't work on William, not because he's immune, but because he's a realist, he doesn't believe in God. Therefore, he cannot be harmed by divine spells. The next day, the demon Lamia takes William to a meeting conducted by four demons in hell to provide him protection against Michael. But the four demons demand William to choose a new ruler to replace Lucifer. But William refuses to, he doesn't believe to be whom they think he is. As a result, all demons present in the room become furious because of William's attitude. One of the demons in anger jumps to attack him but Dantalion saves William by blazing demon with his flaming power. William accidentally drops his family ring. All demons instantly recognize it as Solomon's ring of wisdom used in past to enslave demons. All demons then come forward to kill him and take the ring, hoping to put end to Solomon's control and can take Solomon's power. In this chaos and confusion, William puts the ring on to protect himself. Suddenly Solomon's soul awakes inside him and takes control over his body. William then demonstrates Solomon's power given by God and eradicates several minor demons coming forward to attack him. Jills appears and tries to kill William to raise his rank, but William blocks his attack with his barrier and scares him by offering to become Solomon's 73 pillars. Dantalion suddenly ambushes William to take his ring off to bring him back, but becomes shocked when William as Solomon doesn't recognize him. William unleashes radiating power to attack Dantalion throwing him to the ground. Balbrith, the demon who desires power the most, arrives and gathers all his energy to strike William, so he can take Solomon's ring from him. But William defends himself by creating a barrier. In agitation, Balbrith then continuously launches his intense attacks, but each time William deflects his attack with his barrier. William then controls low-class demons to deal with Balbrith, but this hat dude cleans them up and sneaks up on him to take the ring. To everyone's surprise, the ring rejects Balbrith, creating a huge explosion that throws Balbrith to the ground. William then launches his final blow to kill Balbrith, but Dantalion appears again and protects Balbrith with his magical shield. He doesn't want William to suffer from the same fate as Solomon. He wants to protect his master. Dantalion pleads with William to remember himself and repeatedly calls his name to break Solomon's control over him. At that moment, Lucifer awakens from his slumber, making Solomon smile as his dear best friend is back. Solomon allows Dantalion to remove the ring from William's finger and stops controlling him. When William wakes up, he learns from Isaac that he is given a full scholarship, but he no longer feels happy because, except him, everyone has forgotten his friends, making him question if they are real. Until some days later, Dantalion shows up and returns his ring. Watch this next video. See you on the next one.